Fulvic acid is being touted as a miracle supplement with claims from boosting energy to curing chronic diseases. As a pharmacist, it's my duty to look at the actual evidence and balance this with the safety. I will go through the science of fulvic acid, from how it is created, from the breakdown of plants in soil, and the promising evidence for chronic inflammatory diseases and increasing absorption of minerals in your diet. But I'm also going to cover the side effects, risks, and interactions that are often ignored. With this supplement being sourced from organic matter in soil, there have been issues with contamination of toxins such as lead in some products. I will share about the unethical company that was shut down after the anti-MLA movement provided evidence of a dangerous product. I will discuss all the benefits and risks so that you can make an informed decision for yourself on if you want to take fulvic acid. There will be timestamps in the description box below, but stick around to the end where in the final thoughts I will tell you where I think fulvic acid will be useful. But before I start on the content, here is my intro and disclaimers. I'm Eloise, I'm a UK pharmacist of over 20 years and I am enthusiastic about clear, accurate information on medicines and supplements that everyone can understand. The information I provide is for educational information only and is my own opinion. However, I do my best to base it on the most up-to-date evidence. Well, always contact your own healthcare professional for individual advice for your own personal situation. Fulvic acid is a chemical compound that is formed when microorganisms in soil break down plant material over long periods of time and it is found in soil, peat, streams and at the bottom of lakes. In some cases this process can take centuries and it can have different compositions and properties depending on where you source it from. For example, the fulvic acid from sand in Israel may have different properties than the peat moss in Canada or the mountain rock in Colorado. Fulvic acid is found in high amounts in shilusite, a tar-like sticky substance found in Himalayan mountain rocks. For thousands of years, shilusite has been used in traditional Eastern and Ayurvedic medicine in India and Nepal for its rejuvenating and anti-aging benefits as it is claimed to have antioxidant properties, leading to a reduction of inflammation in the body. The evidence for fulvic acid is based on centuries of use in Eastern medicine and uses for many allergy and inflammatory conditions. Back in 2018, there was an extensive study done on the effects of fulvic acid, although much of the information is based on animal and laboratory studies rather than in people. However, it was able to confirm that there's many pharmacological actions and effects on the immune system by being both pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory. This may seem contradictory, but the body is always about balance and not needing anything at either extreme. These results do show that more investigation could be done for the claims on allergies, asthma, hay fever and eczema. The animal and laboratory studies also showed both antioxidant and oxidant effects, adding to the evidence of reducing overall oxidative stress with the potential for preventing chronic inflammatory diseases like diabetes, as well as neurodegenerative disorders because it may interfere with the build-up of proteins that speed up the development of brain diseases like Alzheimer's. Other actions of fulvic acid are on the intestines in regarding the gut flora and the absorption of chemicals through the gut lining. It seems to encourage the growth of some of the good, good gut bacteria such as lactobacilli and increasing the activity of digestive enzymes as well as enhancing the absorption of minerals and medicines into the bloodstream. Although there is promise with all the above studies, the effects are extremely broad across the whole body and there's no information on the appropriate dosages for the therapeutic effects on each of the individual diseases it could potentially provide benefit for. Are there any risks in taking fulvic acid supplements? Well, the WebMD classifies fulvic acid supplements as possibly safe when used for up to seven days and in low doses it does seem to be well tolerated with 
mild side effects of diarrhea, headache and sore throat. However, due to its mode of action and increasing the immune system, there may be potential problems with people with autoimmune diseases, as it could worsen the diseases such as multiple sclerosis, systemic lupus, erythemias, known as SLE, and rheumatoid arthritis. Also, in areas where fulvic acid is in the local drinking water, there has been an increased risk of developing cashin beck bone disease. It is thought that there is the risk in the greatest in the regions where people do not receive enough selenium in their diet. As we mentioned earlier, in the benefits, fulvic acid improves the absorption of many minerals and nutrients in your diet, but also any medication that you are taking. Therefore, great care needs to be taken as this interaction could cause medication to be at a too high a dose, increasing their side effects and potentially overdose. There are also some specific medication interactions. Fulvic acid can reduce blood clotting. So taken with an anticoagulant or an antiplatelet drug, there may be an increased risk of bruising and bleeding. Fulvic acid can increase the activity of the immune system, therefore decreasing the effects of any immunosuppressant medication, such as those used after transplant or for autoimmune conditions. And fulvic acid can affect the thyroid hormone levels, which might interfere with therapy to make thyroid function normal. As alluded to at the beginning, the biggest risk with fulvic acid is from supplements that aren't regulated and that the soil that they are sourced from having potential heavy metals such as lead, mercury and arsenic. In fact, there have been studies showing that lead, mercury and arsenic are present in supplements being sold over the in internet and incidents of patients with peripheral neuropathy due to lead poisoning from these supplements. Fulvic acid itself promotes absorption of heavy metals into the body and therefore even extremely low concentrations can be potentially dangerous, especially as your body cannot detox from these heavy metals and there is no known supplement to do this and detox your body and medical treatment is essential. A few years ago, there was a particular company known as Black Oxygen Organic and they were sourcing the soil for their fulvic acid supplements from near a landfill, and their product was contaminated with heavy metals. They were also a company using the unethical multi-level marketing structure known as MLM, where the products are overpriced, the lower distributors work for very little money off sales, and the money flows to the top of the pyramid structure. I encourage you to go and watch the video from Savannah Marie who was part of the anti-MLM movement that exposed this company and led to them closing down. She also explains much better than I can why the MLM structure is unethical as 97% of their distributors struggle to make any money. She also has a follow-on video where another company has reopened with the same source of fulvic acid as well as management under the name Lever. Therefore, if you are wanting to consider trying fulvic acid for yourselves, I would encourage you to do some research into the company that you are using. It is best to go for a company known for getting their products third party tested for heavy metals and for being compliant with any of the regulations of the country that you live in. There's no need to overpay and usually companies selling through a reputable health food shop or grocery store with their full ingredient lists and without the crazy claims are actually going to be the ones that are safer to use. What are my final thoughts on fulvic acid supplements as a pharmacist? There is clearly some intriguing research suggesting potential benefits, especially in the prevention of aging conditions, although there's still much we don't know. While some individuals may get improvement in certain health markers, we have no way of knowing who will gain those benefits. However, if you have an autoimmune condition or are taking medication, I advise taking the, against taking this supplement as the risks probably outweigh the benefits. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and subscribe so that the YouTube algorithm shares this video and my future videos show in your feed. Have a look at my previous video on crazy products such as coffee enemas, as well information on actual vitamins and medicines. Thank you very much for watching.
and I appreciate you all and I hope to see you again.